interviewing His Excellency Mar Stephanos, the Bishop of the Diocese of New York and into Canada, United States and into Canada. And as our previous uh, interview mentioned, the origins of this church is from St. Thomas in the early centuries of the church when he went to India after Pentecost. So we're going to pick up now with Bishop explaining the architecture of this church. Now the body of the church is Roman, it's Western, it's central nave. When the Syro Melancharis came here and uh, occupied this building, the architecture of the sanctuary changed and that's where we are now with Bishop. Bishop, thank you very much again for inviting us here. Thank you very much, Father. Welcome once again. Okay. Um, well, this is sanctuary. And this sanctuary is almost the style of the Old Testament temple. Mm. So, but we have the New Testament uh, images and symbols here. Altar represents the, the tomb of the Lord. So this is the altar. And always we put uh, 13 candles on the altar. How many? 13. Center Jesus Christ and 12 uh, 12 uh, apostles. Um, is is the Blessed Sacrament reserved here? There is okay. in the tabernacle uh, Blessed Sacrament is used. Uh, this tabernacle is used for both Latin and the and the oh, right, right. We use the same bread. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, of course, of course. So we share that. Yeah. Beautiful. Now uh, the Ciro Melancara architecture brought this in. Yeah. Uh, this is called the Holy of Holies, you know, and always the altar is uh, covered uh, with this kind of coat. And on the side we come across the image of Mary here, and here John. So always our Holy Eucharist Mass begins with the proclamation of prayer that Mary who gave you birth and John who baptized you shall be our intercessors and when we declare that the curtain will be opened you see the curtains yes 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 so the first part of the liturgy is conducted within the veils of the sanctuary and that represents the Old Testament part of the history of salvation yeah so the offertory part is the commemoration of the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. And when we start the liturgy, public ministry we call it, we open the veil and declare that Mary who gave you birth and John who baptized you shall be our intercessors. So we, that is the proclamation of the incarnation of Christ. Thereby we open the curtain. Symbols are so beautiful yeah. and, and educational at the same time. Yeah. So Mass is really a dramatic reenactment of the history of salvation. Mm -hmm. So the offertory part is the first part of the liturgy, which is the commemoration of the mysteries from creation up to the incarnation. So when we begin the, the proclamation of the incarnation, the curtain is opened. So thereafter, we, we commemorate uh, the history of, of the salvation in a short prayer. Then we have the Trisagion, means praising uh, Holy uh, Jesus Christ was crucified, the immortal one, mm. and the resurrected one. So then again, I will show you the incense. Bishop is going over to the side of the altar and bringing the censer. We have the incense. Father Jobin, come. Do you use this altar? No, that is... We, no, no, we use that for the liturgy of the hours. Oh, oh, okay. Before the Mass, we conduct the liturgy of the hours. So we go in front. We always turn to the East for our prayer. Okay. Commemorating that we are pilgrims. And we are waiting for the arrival of Christ from the East. Yes. We expect. Please come. Father, nice meeting you. Tell us, tell us your name again. My name is Father Jobin Thomas. Okay, Jobin Thomas. He keeps Thomas. Thomas is very important. Yes. He is a native. 
Oh, he is nice born and he is born and brought up in Toronto. Oh, Toronto. Yeah. Okay. Yes. He is a North American boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And you with the bishop. With the bishop, yes. My secretary also. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. So, we use a lot of incense, you know. There are four chains. One is representing the father. Then so we say holy is the father. Then we say holy is the son. We use two chains, the divinity and the humanity of Christ. Uh, then then holy is the Holy Spirit, third, the third one. So bless this way. There are twelve uh, bells representing the twelve apostles. This is the earth and this is the heaven. And when we incense, our prayers from the earth is, uh, is evoked to the heaven. And the humanity is, 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 is elevated to the divinity. That's, what, that's the divinization process. So, this is how. So, we have a special service of the incensing. The, the symbolism is just so beautiful and simple, but so... Uh, theological in, in, in origin. Yeah. Representing the, the apostles, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Yeah. The earth and the, the that's the heaven. a new one. I never heard of that. Yeah, this is the earth. You know, you can say that there is a sinfulness that is the charcoal is there. Yes. Sinfulness. And that is purified with the fire of the Holy Spirit and that incense that our prayers is uh, is elevated to the heavens. And that's Every liturgy. So, so you use incense at every, every mass. Yeah. We have to catch on to that. <laughs> I, I like using incense, but some yeah. churches don't. So that's why. Right. So then, uh, then we have the liturgy of the word, which commemorates the public ministry of Jesus, and that's why during the liturgy we permit, uh, uh, we don't permit lay people to preach. Only the priests and the deacons. If if at all a lay person is preaching, he does it at the end of the Mass, okay. not during the liturgy. Because there the priest represents Christ himself. So, This is Father Louis Skirty getting an overview of the liturgy as well as your architecture here at the Ciro Malankara Cathedral in Elmont, New York with Bishop Stafanos. We're going to continue in our next segment with more um, notifications of the various symbols in the sanctuary. Thank you for joining us and Bishop, thank you for being here with us and having us as your guest.